high. One of uh, the common ABA principles that we use is called satiation and deprivation. What that means is that we want our learners to really want the things that we're offering them as reinforcement. So we want them to be somewhat deprived of that in order for them to want to work for it. So an example is that when I go in and meet a student or go in to work with a learner, I very often will bring my own toys that are new and exciting and hopefully a little bit more fun than what they have at home. Um, and they're really excited and engaged to work with that toy because they've never seen it before. They're what we would call in a state of deprivation for that toy or that item. Um, sometimes what happens is I'll go back the next time and the parents have seen how much the kid loves the toy and I see the toy there. And then I try to get the learner to be motivated to work for that toy. And what happens is he's completely satiated and doesn't want to do any more work for that toy. Um, and in that case, it's going to be very hard to motivate them to work for things that they get all the time. So we usually recommend that things that we want to use as reinforcement within an ABA program keep to be kept separate. These can be edibles, these can be toys, these can be activities, games, videos, things that we want the child to be motivated to work for. We want them to be somewhat in a state of deprivation so that when we present it to them, they're really motivated and really excited to work for it.